Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Working with an external accountant. Most companies need the help of an accountant, either to keep their books or at least to audit them. Many growing businesses don't need a full-time accountant though, so they choose to hire someone from outside the company. This video focuses on how to set up an external accountant and give them access to our financial information in Business Central. Before we start, there are a few requirements for the process. Business Central subscriptions include three licenses of the type external accountant, so we don't need any additional licenses. However, to complete the process, we do need to have either the global admin or the user admin role in our Office 365 account. Additionally, the external accountant's email address must be a work address that is based on Azure Active Directory. Let's go ahead and invite our external accountant. We'll search for users and then choose the users link in the search results. On the users page, we'll choose process and then invite external accountant to open a setup guide that will help us through the process. The first page basically just makes sure that we're aware that we're about to share data and that we're responsible for managing that. We'll accept the terms and choose next to move on to the next step. Now we'll enter the accountant's name and email address. If we want, we can also edit or rewrite the welcome message. We'll choose next to send the invitation. Our accountant will be invited by email to access our Business Central database. When the accountant receives the email invitation, they must use the link in the email to access Business Central. Now that the license is assigned, we'll need to return to Business Central and add the user. We'll go to the Users page in Business Central, select Process, and then Get New Users from Office 365. This process will import the newly created user into Business Central. After we import the user, we'll edit the user groups based on the kind of access we want to give to the accountant. Additionally, if we have more than one company, we will need to import the user into each one or just provide access to all companies by removing the company name from the permission sets. And that's it. Our accountant is ready to start working. Thanks for watching.